Hi and welcome to the Skilled YouTube channel. Today we talk to Dom, senior software engineer at Roblox and Skilled Mentor. So Dom, how did you get started in the gaming industry? Yeah, so it's actually how I started in code, with coding in general. Um, when I was a kid, I used to play a lot of video games. Um, started with StarCraft 1, I believe, uh, Windows 95. So from then on, I knew I wanted to do something with computers. And so when I, I never had any coding or software engineering experience until I actually started college. So freshman year in college is um, when I started uh, doing software development. Yeah, so and do so you, I, sorry, do you have to, so you, when you join, uh, I guess, your, your college program, do you know specifically like, hey, I want to code and make games, or do you just generally want to just take any type of coding classes and learn um, whatever you needed to? Yeah, I just started like with any um, any software development, really. I, I wasn't sure yet if I wanted to go into game development or not, but I knew that, you know, kind of ga gaming was what got me to uh, explore um, computer science in general. Cool. Yeah, that makes sense. I've heard a lot from uh, game programmers or computer engineers who work on games. It's, um, you know, they want to work on products that they're passionate about. And then it just so happens that a lot of them are passionate about games. So that totally makes sense. Yeah. So um, after college, you know, I was hoping to get into a gaming uh, company, but it's not that easy, especially, you know, without experience and anything like that. So for me, I was really looking for just that starting out and um, getting that experience in the industry. So I actually didn't start in a gaming company. I started in um, an advertising company. Um, that's where we actually met, right? Um, <laughs> Spoilers, so, yeah. We, we knew each other uh, from a previous <laughs> company. But, but that makes sense. Like, um, it's probably tough to get into gaming companies because there's so many people trying to join them and there's a lot of competition, especially like, you know, probably if you're fresh out of school, it's a little bit tougher. So it made sense that you try to get, you know, relevant experience and then, you know, right. make that step to gaming. Right. So, and then after that, I got an op I got a email from a recruiter. Um, uh, this was for GSN games. Um, it's not something that's well known uh, their audience, they're doing um, social casino. So it's not like, their audience is someone like me, but I know that kind of like this is how I get my my foot inside that, um, you know, in the industry, right? So I I took that opportunity, and um, that's kind of how it started. Yeah, and that makes sense. Like you know, um, not everyone is going to work on. I know you mentioned StarCraft earlier. Not everyone's going to work yeah. on the game that they've been playing. So it makes sense to just to get your foot in the door, and that once you're in the gaming industry, that you just make you know steps. Uh, towards where you want to be, even if it's, it's small steps. And I think that's, as long as you get there, um, you know, I think it's good. And, you know, I'm sure there's someone out there who, who knows GSN games and, uh, you know, um, definitely excited uh, to hear that you did work there. So, Yeah, so, I yeah, GSN games is like part of the GSN network. So if you watch TV, the game show and all that stuff. Uh, um, but since the beginning, through my internship, I've been a front-end uh, developer. So that that's my title right now, um, and that's what I continue to do, even though I'm within this this industry, right? So it does, doesn't matter what field of engineering you are in, um, you can get into any industry because all of the relevant, all of the engineering skills are, are needed for different parts of, uh, of a company or a product. Right? Cool. So so when you um, before you got into GSN, uh, or I guess during the process. Like they obviously looked at your experience that you had at that advertising company, but was there any like projects or anything that you worked on that, um, you know, that they looked into or was it just like that experience at the advertising company that got you that job? Yeah, I think, I think it was mainly that experience, um, you know, went through the, the usual uh, kind of coding interview uh, and then just explained to them what I've been, what I've been working on. I was doing internal tools, right, developing um, internal tool, tools for the company. So uh, I got to work on a big project, got to work on a lot of stuff, and got me the relevant you know, experience. Uh, and I think I stayed there for about a year and a half before I moved on to, uh, to GSN. Cool. I, I was just asking because I think a lot of people say, oh, you have to work on a side project and develop your own game or make your own app, things like that. It's good to know that 
um, you're able to get a job just with the relevant experience. Like I said, like whether you're working on some front end product, even though it's not a game, the skills could translate and um, you, you could get right. a job. So that's good no, to hear. For sure, yeah, side projects definitely help. Um, but I think yeah, people are, you know, once once you are, once you do have that job experience, they're gonna be more interested in that in job experience, right? And unless like the, your other job experience is like, hey, hey, you started your own startup, uh, cool, like, you know, <laughs> what did you do with that startup? Uh, how long it lasted? Things like that. Sure. Um, but yeah. Cool. That sounds good. So uh, thanks for joining me today and uh, talking about how you got into the game industry. Um, and and uh, thanks for all the advice.